Hello everyone, thanks for watching and welcome to another Tech Scorer video. And today is another short tutorial video. Today I'll show you another great and easy way of how you can create animated titles like this that you can use in LumiFusion. Remember, if you have seen some of my other videos, you know that I'm all about making things simple and fast, so you can use more time creating your videos instead of losing long periods of time creating animated titles or transitions. Today, to create the animated titles, I'll use two apps, the Keynote app and the LumaFusion app. Let's jump right into it. Ok, so here I have the Keynote app already opened with a new presentation. The first thing that I've already done is setting the background color to black. The purpose is to make the animation title showing up from the right to the left. Let's now add some text to the canvas. For that, just press the plus icon on the top right corner. Customize the font color and size. Because I want to place an app icon along the text, I'll import it to the presentation as well. To do so, once again, press the plus button on the top right corner and select Insert From. Look for the folder where you have saved the app icon so it can show up in the presentation. If you want to know how do I get the app icons that I use in my projects, please be sure to watch my video about it. Ok, once it's all done, it's time to animate both the text and the icon. To do so, click and tap on the app icon and select Animate. Then, select Add Built-in and scroll until you find the Move-in option. Once it's applied, select it so it will open a new menu. Here is where I'll set things up so the animation shows from the right to the left. Also, I'm going to add a built out. I'll select the move out option. Once the animation on the app icon is done, I'll move to the text. Because I want the built in to look exactly the same as the app icon animation, I'll copy the animation and pass it to the text built in. As for the built out, I want it to have a different look, so it seems that it's been deleted by the app icon when moving out. So, I select the keyboard animation. I'll do a few adjustments so the built out of both app icon and text match. And this is how all animation looks like. Not bad. But I want animation to look like it comes up from nowhere. To achieve this, I just have to add a shape to the right of the text. The color has to match the color of the background. Let's test it. Now that the title is designed, it's time to export it. To do so, on the right top corner I'll press the three dots. Then I'll scroll down until I'll find the export option. And then select Movie. I'll set it to the maximum quality and to the frame rate of my video project. I'll save it to the file that I have in the LumiFusion app. So now I'm in the LumiFusion app inside one of my projects. And if I want to use that animation that I've just created one time, I'll just drop it into the project and to make it show up without the black background, I can do one of two things. Either I select screen from the blending modes or I'll key it out using the dark luma key from the color and effects menu. However, if I want to use animation often in different projects, the solution is to make this animation background free. And for that, I'll use the LumaFusion app. How? Quite easy. I'll create a new project and import animation to the timeline. Here, I'll do the exact same settings using the Dark Luma key. Then, I'll export it as a Havoc without transparency. And it's done. Now, I can use it as many times as I wish without the need of having to follow all the previous steps. Ok everyone, that's all for today. Hope you found this video useful. See you at my next video.